Hey guys, Luke here, your digital concierge at Gramophone. Today we're going to be taking a look at an all new gaming product from Audacy. I'm sure you remember them as the makers of some of the finest headphones we've ever covered on this channel, and I doubt this one will be any different. I'm really excited to see what they bring to the table with their latest gaming product. Enter the Audacy Penrose X. Audacy has been known for engineering some of the finest headphones in the world and for every category whether it be for audiophiles, for studio professionals, and for gamers, now we have a product that is the latest offering in the gaming world, bringing their amazing planar magnetic technology to this field and doing it in a design that is accessible because it can be used in so many ways. But before we talk about everything that this sure to be amazing headset has to offer, Make sure you guys get subscribed to the Gramophone channel because we've got many other great product reviews and highlights on the way for you. Don't want to see you miss out. Now then, the Audacy Penrose X and why this needs to be at the top of the list for anyone who considers himself both a gamer and something of a junior audiophile. I really like what Audacy did with the box art on these. It just looks awesome, makes me want to play. A little bit of a quick start guide right here on the front. That is always nice. Here is a little quick reference for how to use all the buttons and features on the pin rows, and also a little bit more detailed explanation on the back. Keep this guy handy when you're first getting into these. There is our 2.4 gigahertz dongle, which can work with both PC and Xbox in the case of the Penrose X. And here is our headset, nicely packaged with some soft foam that was very form-fitting. But of course, that's what we expect from Audacy. They make sure everything is good to go and ready. And here is our headset. They got a wider reach over my head than I actually thought they would, which is nice and comfy. I barely noticed the armband and just about all of my ear, and I've got ears that are way too big, fit pretty well into the ear cup. And just like this, hearing myself talk, I can already hear a fair amount of isolation. Of course, we have our microphone, and Audacy's he's got some pretty good claims about this mic, say that it's almost broadcast quality. Ooh, look at that. The Audacy logo is literally built into the end of the microphone. That's a really cool little piece of attention to detail there, I say. I like that. Got a three and a half millimeter cable for wired use. Always good to have that as a backup. USB-C cable for charging. And then of course we have your USB-C for the headphone to USB-A for those who have more standard connectors on their PC or don't have an available USB-C port open. All right guys, so the features of the Penrose X. Now we'll start with the most prominent and most important one by far and the one that is the hallmark of all Disney products. This is a planar magnetic headphone. It is a 100 millimeter driver that uses a very, very thin membrane-like diaphragm, which has a voice coil traced into it. Unlike dynamic headphones, these can usually play louder and do so with more clarity, and they have just this turn on a dime, almost instantaneous response. So detail is there in spades. And if you haven't ever heard of planar magnetic before, Oh boy, first time you hear one of these, you just might not go back to most other things because they are fantastic. Now, Audacy does a few cool things with theirs to differentiate a little bit, such as their Fluxar magnets, which are very, very powerful, and their Phasar Array. The Phasar Array is basically a waveguide at the end of the driver before it passes through and then moves through the ear cup to hit your ear that helps form that sound into the response that they are looking for, keeping everything really smooth and even sounding. And in that diaphragm I mentioned, they use a voice coil trace called Uniforce, and that again just lends itself to the control that these headphones have, as everything is super precise in their design. Now for the more gamer features, and just some aspects of the compatibility even, as this is all part of that grand feature set that all of these bringing to the table, both the Penrose and these, the Penrose X, basically same product, just one for PS5, one for Xbox, both for PC, because of PC's general compatibility, have an awesome, awesome feature. And it's one of the first things I noticed even during the unboxing that made me go, yes. Everything in this category should have something like this. It has the 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle, right? And you can use this to connect to your console. And it also has Bluetooth, but here's the kicker. 
you can use both at the same time for dual connectivity. So you can have this in your Xbox, getting your game feed and your chat and all of that, but also have this Bluetooth to your phone through Bluetooth version 5.0, which is basically the best version of Bluetooth. That way you can be having a conversation on your phone with your best friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever, and still be jamming out playing games and hearing all those important details that you don't want to miss so that you're the best at your game. Now let's talk about the microphone, as microphone quality is always a big issue with gaming headsets, and frankly, a lot of gaming headset microphones just were best left out. Whereas with the Odyssey, they've made their own mic for this. It, as I showed you in the beginning, it even had their own logo in it. This is a broadcast quality mic and about as good as you can get on something that's going to connect to a headset to begin with. It has a maximum sound pressure handling level of 140 decibels, so you can literally scream into this thing and not have to worry about damaging it. And it has built-in noise and pop filters to attenuate up to about 20 decibels of background noise. All right, now for just the sound-related specs. This is good for 10 hertz to 50 kilohertz. That's a crazy impressive range. It's the one that we're familiar with from other Odyssey products, and it works its way even to a product like this developed for gaming. And of course, with that incredible planar distortion performance, under 0.1% total harmonic distortion. And lastly, this is a wireless product, so Luke, how's the battery life? This is good for 15 hours of playback and charges in about three. So it's gonna last you for one very long gaming sesh, so you won't have to worry about that. These are built using a very soft, pliable memory kind of foam in the actual ear cups themselves. And the ear cups are finished in a pleather material that feels pretty convincing and is nice, soft, and supple. You can see that these have the green accents all around to fit with the Xbox theme as the Penrose X variant is the one intended for Xbox. And you can see that around the ear cups and in the Odyssey logo. I think it looks pretty sharp. Moving on to the microphone, what I really like that they did here, other than the fact that this is a custom capsule, is that this thing is adjustable almost omnidirectionally in just about any position and way that you want it to be. Looking toward the bottom of the ear cup here, you can see all of your controls. This is your wheel for your microphone volumes. You can adjust that. And then this one is the volume of the headset itself for you. That is your three and a half millimeter connection when you use this hardwired. On the side is your power button. Just holding that down will power them on. And up top is a microphone lock switch. Sliding that down will turn off the microphone and then of course up re-enable it So if you don't want to pull your mic away from your face or you just need to say something in private to like a family member or a friend nearby Just hit that you're muted. All in all I like the design of the Penrose as I said earlier I think it is a good balance of that kind of gamery fun look with the Xbox colors But keeps the overall design relatively restrained and clean. I like clean looks You should probably know that about me by now but tell me what you guys think of the design in the comments. All right guys, now quick notes about the compatibility. And the first biggest thing that I can mention is that there is the Penrose X, which is with us here today, and the Penrose. The Penrose X is the Xbox variant. This is going to be compatible, of course, with Xbox. We're talking Xbox One and Xbox Series X, and that's gonna be so through the use of the 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmitter. So it will work wirelessly with Xbox, which is not something we see in a lot of gaming headsets lately, so it's nice to see that. Good old three and a half millimeter to work with virtually any standard auxiliary jack. For Bluetooth 5.0, it would be compatible with many a devices as Bluetooth is basically a universal standard. And then all this can be controlled with the Odyssey Headquarters app on PC, which allows you to do things like select the EQ profile to kind of tune in that sound that you want. And I find that planar magnetics respond very well to EQ. It's the kind of driver that just does whatever you tell it. So definitely mess around with that. You'll find a setting you certainly prefer above others, no doubt. For just under $300, under $300 for a planar magnetic, that's crazy. The Odyssey Penrose X achieves full immersion into your game because of that incredible planar design that we all know Odyssey is famous for. This is a feature monster, a compatibility superstar, and for that price point, I think is gonna deliver some of the best value we've ever seen in both the audio and gaming worlds 
and boy, is that a marriage made in heaven. So if you want to get in on serious value, head on over to skybygramophone.com where you can pick up a pair of your own Penrose or Penrose X, depending on what your need is. You can check out securely and have them shipped fast and free straight to your door, and I can't wait for you to get yours. Also, please stop by one of our showroom locations or give us a call. You'll find us in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. We also have a very beautiful kitchen design center in Hunt Valley. You can even find us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Pals, and Twitter, as well as a few others. Just check the links down below. If you need help coming up with project ideas, scheduling a service request, or just want to speak to one of our hi-fi home theater and interior design experts, get inspired at gramophone.com. Also, be sure to ask at gramophone.com if you need any help or have any questions about anything I've covered here on the channel. Please give us a thumbs up, like this video if you enjoyed it, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. As always, I want to hear back from you guys. Tell me your first impressions on the Penrose and Penrose X, as well as what you'd like to see from us in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Always a pleasure. Be seeing you.